All right, if you haven't already, you need to turn on reanimated right now. And if you typically play on a lower difficulty, now is the time to increase that difficulty. I promise you it'll be fun and worth it. So if you typically play on normal, crank that beast up to, I don't know, challenging. Same with hard. Crank it up to challenging. If you typically play on challenging, crank it up to heroic. And if you're typically on heroic, well, you can see on my screen, put it up to five directives because it's a lot of fun and it's still, everything is so easy. It's so much fun. So what I'm gonna do is in this video, I'm gonna break down all of that. Uh, I, I don't wanna spoil it. Let's just go ahead and start the video. Here we go. What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already and let me know what you think in the comment section below. But right now you need to turn on reanimated and just have fun in the game. Now, how do you do this and why do you need to do this? Well, all of the global events got a little rework that, uh, that felt lacking in previous, you know, global events. And the main one that got a nice rework, reanimated. So reanimated for all of you that were wa watching those uh, previous streams or what have you this past week, and you were asking me what the green gas was, it's the reanimated global event. Now to turn this on, you can see in the bottom middle of your screen where it says deactivate. That's because I have this global event activated right now. But I'll turn it off, that way I can show you exactly what it looks like and exactly how to turn it on and off. But during this global event, the biggest um, ticket uh, weapon types to use would be like a really hard-hitting marksman rifle, rifle, or maybe a pistol. Now you can see on my screen, it now shows heroic with the five directives and that reanimated is not turned on. So this is what it looks like when the reanimated event is not activated. So you go to your menu, go over to seasons and click on the global event react, uh, reanimated. Now you can see in the bottom middle, now it says activate. So we click on that and now we are activating this global event. Now what I'm going to do in this video is I am going to showcase a pistol build, um, but like I said, the biggest uh, types of weapons to use right now, the top tier, the, the bee's knees would be like a marksman rifle, a rifle, or a pistol. Now the reason why I'm using a pistol is I like to run and gun and a pistol packs the biggest punch run and gun wise and it's a lot of fun. Your mobility is very high. Now, as far as like a marksman rifle, you can sit back and just one tap everyone in the head. It's going to be amazing. And for rifles, you can kind of run and gun, um, but it's just not as mobile as a pistol. So in today's video, I'll be showcasing a pistol. But if you want to see any of those builds, just let me know which one in the comments and I'll put them together. Now, as far as this reanimated, why is it... Um, so special. Well, let me show you the patch notes and then we'll jump back here and we'll talk about this some more. So let's uh, let's jump over to the Twitterverse. So just a reminder, here are the Project Resolve patch notes. And these are the different changes that were to each of the global events coming to this season. And we scroll down to Reanimated and you can see they tripled the explosion range. So every time you're getting those headshot kills, that green gas that explodes, it's actually damaging enemies three times the normal range. So that's why you're seeing these different enemies dying through walls and through their spawns. And it's because this range is way bigger than what it normally was. The next one is increasing the explosion damage by 50%. So not only did the range get a 300% increase, but the damage of that explosion, they call it an explosion, but really it's like this green gas. 
And now this gas has a 50% increase to the damage. Now, not only that, but you'll see a lot of people run headshot builds right now. And that's because they even increase the weakness of these enemies to headshots. So whether it be an elite, a boss, or even just a little red bar enemy, all of their headshots are going to be even higher. So you're going to be able to hit them harder. When they explode and that green gas comes out, it's going to have a 300% increase and a 50% increase to damage. And that's why everyone is using reanimated and headshot builds right now in the Division 2. And this is exactly why I highly recommend you play this right now. Turn on reanimated. But if this isn't enough to convince you, if my intro, all of that fun stuff wasn't enough, let me show you an entire run on Heroic with five directives, and I will only use a pistol. All right? Now, like always, I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Hit that like, subscribe, you know the whole YouTube spiel, and ring that notification bell because we do daily Division content. Now, for all of this news and more, remember to follow me on Twitter at Kamikaze Von Doom, and you'll get all of this news before I make these YouTube videos. But all right, that's it for me. Have a great day. Enjoy yourself, and I will see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye bye, Dean. Peace out. And we're back. All right. So, Twitterverse, all that done. You saw the patch notes. The explosion is three times bigger, it hits harder. Do headshots. So that's why I'm able to do something uh, like this. Rogue assault turret detected. Hostile assault turret detected. Now again, that is rogue agents on the hardest difficulty for a mission. Heroic, five directives, all of that. Boom. See ya. And not only that, but I'll show you a full heroic run on that same mission. Now you can uh, try this for legendary strongholds. That would be fun. Um, I don't think it works. It doesn't work for... Let me show you. It'll show in the details right here. It does not work for Dark Zone, Conflict, Expeditions, Raids, Countdown, Descent, or Incursions. So you can still do the Strongholds. You can still do the missions, Open World, all of that. Um, so yeah, not too shabby. Now, finally, let's jump over to some open world fun, and then I'll do a little build breakdown followed by a mission, a little speed run for you. But I hope you enjoyed. This thing is ridiculous. You feel like a god. I mean, it, it is truly crazy. Um, just make sure you do headshots. Remember, the enemies uh, take more headshot because they have more headshot weakness. So make sure you go for the heads, and you want that headshot damage to be big. That way, that explosion damage will be really nice as well. Because remember, those explosions will range from, I don't know, 150k to all, all, all the way up to like 300k. So try, try to get as much, much of that explosion damage as possible. And if the enemies are spread out, you're going to have to do more headshot kills. Now, if they're all bunched in together and like say they're spawn... One or two headshot kills is going to kill the entire, you know, the entire spawn. But if they are spread out, then they're not going to get each other with that range. So then you're going to have to hunt them all down. But all right, let's jump over to the gameplay. I'll do a little build breakdown for you, a little speed run. You'll like it. Hit that like, subscribe. You know the whole spiel. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom, and roll that footage. Hup yeah.
All right, the first, uh, yeah, the first showcase I'm going to give you for the reanimated event is I'm just going to show you open world, right? So it's going to be heroic five directives open world with reanimated. Now I'm just going to use my pistol, and we're going to take on a uh, control point. So this is going to be a control point on the hardest difficulty possible. Now, I don't have any stacks or any other ammo, nothing like that. I'm just going to use my pistol. And I want to show you exactly how this reanimated event works. It's pretty, pretty fun. I like it a lot. Here we go. All right, you see those numbers? Those, that's all after the fact. That's from the cloud. All right. And you can see where it starts to hurt all of those enemies. Here we go. And you can see that elite's almost dead, and I haven't even shot one bullet at that elite. See? Pretty crazy. Now here we go. Here's the next one. And then you can see it's just one headshot. And then you can watch the damage numbers just continuously. And that's without any of my stacks of anything. Nothing at all. Now, obviously, with stacks, it's just going to get even better. And if you want to see this build breakdown, just let me know in the comments. And that's it. Pretty simple, huh? And this is on the hardest possible difficulty. Just remember that. This is the hardest possible difficulty. And I'm doing this with no other weapons, no skills, anything like that, no buffs. Look at that. That was the boss. Now I'm going to get my buffs. Look at this. Now here's with my buffs. 25 million right there. One bullet. That's crazy. 32 million right there. One bullet. That's just insane. And I haven't even called anything in yet. I'm just showing you how this reanimated event works. It's so easy. Now just remember, this is on the hardest possible difficulty for control points. All directives, everything. So I'm only using a pistol. That's the crazy part about this. So I need to figure out where the enemies are coming from, either left or right. Oop, they're coming left. All right, here we go. Just need one headshot. There we go. Oh. Agent killed. I'm playing a little reckless right there, but that's okay. And then I can just fast travel to the uh, incoming. But you can see, I mean, it's truly, you can just take on anything. Just head on. Now let me get back over there. There we go. So all you do is you keep hitting those headshots, and as long as the other enemies are in that cloud, you can kill five, six enemies with one headshot. Lucky with that headshot. Alright, so now they're coming to the right. Dude. Why can I not hit the rusher in the face? Thank you. What is going on there? All the other enemies are fine, but for some reason it's this rusher. I just can't. Try this again. What is going on here? All of a sudden my D50's pumping out blanks? What? There we go. 47 million on that one. That was dirty. All of a sudden my D50 pumping blanks. Now we're good now. But still. Where? 
that boss oh oh going ham it's purple ran dude she just shot him in the leg for 25 mil That's dirty did we catch had we not oh there's one more enemy Let's see how far Oh, man. That was cool. That was cool. Oh, I was outside of the thing, so it didn't count? Aw, oh, come on. Reinforcements incoming. I have to do this all over again. Detecting yeah, whatever. Additional hostile contacts. We got this. Doesn't help that they have special bullets. There we go. suck, dude. So I showed you a little bit of open world. I showed you how the reanimated works. You know how to turn it on, turn it off. Now let me show you um, in some crazy scenarios. So I'm gonna show you rogue agents on heroic with five directives. And I'm gonna show you me speed running a mission on heroic with five directives. But again, if you wanna see the build and all that, just let me know in the comments. I'll do a build video later. Um, I'll do one on a marksman rifle, a rifle, and a pistol build. It'll be a lot easier doing a rifle and marksman rifle. Uh, using a pistol, you do have to be a little bit more in their face. So it's a little bit more different, but I like it nevertheless. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump over to that mission, and then we'll finish it up. So hit that like, subscribe, you know the deal, and let's uh, keep rolling that footage. Ha-bya! Uh, and remove the True Sun's forces. If they maintain this outpost, the True Sun's will be a direct threat to the campus. Down 
Let's see you right now. We've got a visual on additional hostiles in the memorial compound. They're moving south. There's a gate between you. It looks closed from here. Agent, you'll need to find a way to open that gate. the interior while I get Henry's people to maintain the perimeter. <laughs> Got a description? There you are, Watson! into a base. There's an area beneath you with increased security. Isaac can't access data on this location. Stay alert. I don't know what you're walking into.
exercise if pulled upstairs. We can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those borders loaded with these things to do. That should keep them from getting more of those mortars. You think closing the tunnel is smart? Fuck you! You blocked the stuff that we can close the tunnel should be locked down here. Get away from me! Go on and head back up. The team from the campus has taken position inside the memorial. If you hadn't stopped them, I know they would have used those weapons on us, and we would have ended up like Castle. I can't tell you how relieved I am to have you on our side. Thank you. Today, we dealt a great blow to the True Sun's infrastructure. We confiscated a massive cache of chemical weapons and eliminated a stronghold near the campus. You should be proud. You saved a lot of lives today. <laughs>